It's rare to see, but wonderful if you can see it, especially here in Arizona. Aurora Borealis, lights that are known to form in the Alaskan sky when conditions are just right. But last night, they formed over Arizona and several other states. And as you can imagine, people here are very excited. Plenty of pictures of the phenomenon popped up on social media. The lights were seen as far south as Tucson. Linda Williams, live with more tonight. Linda, this is kind of a rarity for us, right? Yeah, rare and wonderful, John. Now it is a powerful uh, solar storm that is causing the auroras to appear in areas farther south than they normally do. It happened last night, and as you said, people were very excited. No one's complaining about this rarity here in our state. A rare and wonderful sight, especially for Arizonans Sunday night, the Aurora Borealis lights forming purple and pink hues in the sky. It sent people across the state rushing to take pictures. This one from St. John's, Arizona. A pastor in Safford took these pictures Sunday evening. Robert Ray, a professional photographer in Eager, Arizona, captured these pictures from his backyard. I yelled for joy. Um, I, it was a bucket list for me to always be able to photograph um, the Northern Lights. I always thought to uh, be able to photograph them, I'd have to travel to, to the North, um, Iceland, Canada, and whatnot. And never did I think that I'd be able to capture them here in Arizona. The Colavito family from Queen Creek also didn't expect to see auroras here in Arizona. In fact, last month, the family headed to Fairbanks, Alaska, seeking the northern lights. They captured these colorful pictures of the auroras from there. Dancing across the sky, I mean, they just move and shoot and swirl. Sunday night, Calavito and her husband, after checking a special weather app, headed to Apache Junction. And lo and behold, the auroras did appear after 8 p.m. that night. She shared a moment with all the other stargazers, hoping they might catch a glimpse of the northern lights in the southern part of the country. It, it was literally a jaw-dropping moment for me. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News.